So I have a problem. I need a paint tin. I need somewhere, a paint booth, somewhere that I can spray paint some fairly large pieces. They open up maybe five foot across while it's being painted. All the paint booths that I've seen online, searched a bunch of videos and only found smaller ones or one that has to be painted with the front open. And I'd like to be able to actually go into the booth to paint uh, just in case I decide to use it inside the shop. I would like it small enough that I could set it up inside the shop. Summer's coming, I don't want to be out in the heat trying to paint when I have an air conditioned shop that I could use. So here's my idea. I went to Walmart and I picked up this six by four foot personal canopy and it ran me right at $29. I've got it erected here in the shop and as you can see I've got a fairly small shop uh, type space to work in but I want to be able to clear out the center floor I've got a couple of temporary tables here that I use clear those temporary tables out put some sides around this and a fan and a filter in the back side of it to be able to spray paint here in the shop if I need to The nice thing about it is it's fairly large. I can easily get the piece under it that I need to spray paint. Um, and I can also use it as a shade outside when we go to the beach. It'll easily fit a couple of chairs and we'll have a bit of shade. I've got a rather large tarp that I used when I was doing some construction work on the house. And I'm going to cut that up and use it for sides. For the walls and for the floor, I'm going to use, just use a blue tarp that I had. I cut up some pieces of it. I'm going to use that to block the inside and cover the floor so I don't get spray paint all over my floor when I'm trying to paint. Or if I decide to set this up out in the driveway on a pretty day, um, I can set it up out there without having a big paint spot on my driveway. And I'm going to use, this is a really thin tarp, so it should store easily. I'm going to use some small magnets attached to the inside of this tarp. And that'll stick to the legs of the canopy. Just use some spring clamps to temporarily hold that up in place, try to get it set about right and determine where I'm going to have my opening to be able to work in it if I do want to paint with it open if I set up outside. So I have quite a few of these little neodymium magnets left over from a project that I bought a while back and I'm going to use 3M black masking tape which is extremely sticky but that works out really good to hold the magnet to the inside. I'll show you how I do that. I'm just going to remove the clamp, slide it down. And I need to take a magnet. And I'm going to take a piece of tape, sticky side out. And stick a magnet right to it. The tape will hold the, the magnet will hold the tape in place while I bring the tarp back up and stick it to just the right spot. And that's all there is to it. Make sure it's stuck down really well. Well, I definitely am going to have to have more light underneath. And I've got this little LED work light. It wasn't very expensive. I've had it for a long time. And I think I'm just going to use a couple of pipe cleaners here and that way I can reuse them. Hang it up here from the ceiling and see what kind of light that provides for inside. It would have been nicer to have had a clear white wall, but blue is what I've got. So that's what I'm going to work with. 
the Velcro tie in the ceiling provides a good spot to hang onto the cord to keep it up out of the way. All right, lights all hooked up. Let's see what we got. Well, that should provide plenty of light. I moved the tarp around. I think I want a corner hole to be close to the opening of the tarp. That way my magnets will have something to attach to on both ends. And I can easily close it while I'm inside. Maybe have to come up with something to make this a little easier to work with. But for now I'm just going to pull it out of the way. Suppose I could use the spring clamps to hold up the sides. That's easy enough to do. But I really don't want to have to look for those. And a lot of times they're being used on other projects. All right, here's a look at it. All finished. I got the floor set in it. Got a stand in there with the extruder on it. That's the piece that I need to be able to paint in there. And this spins around somewhat on this stand to allow me to get to several different angles to paint it. So it has to be big enough that I can balance it, open it up so that it can be painted at one shot and still be able to get around behind it to be able to paint at all sides. I want to set up a little fan, just a box fan with some filters on the inside. And I'm going to do that back here at the back of the paint booth. So I'm just marking approximately where the filter and fan can be. And put some holes in here to allow air to pass through it. Okay, so as you see, it's painted. How did it work? Well tell you the truth, I didn't love the experience. I made a really quick fan. I don't know if you can see that. Let me check here. Yeah. The fan and the filters down at the bottom. I had four filters stacked against that fan. And if you look closely there, you can see that it's picked up quite a bit of paint. The inside of the booth, I had it completely enclosed. And the inside of the booth was trying to cave in from the suction of the fan. Definitely needs, it was drawing air from every spot that it could. So that made it a little bit smaller in the booth, a bit harder to walk around this big of a piece. I uh, managed to get around it and get it painted, but I definitely think that I need to have a paint suit on if I'm gonna do much painting like that because I'm sticky from head to toe and the floor was so sticky that it was sticking to my feet and picking up as I was walking around trying to get it painted. So that's the first shot at it. I'll make a few more improvements. The other thing I, I found was the magnets were not strong enough once the fan started. So I did have to resort to some string, spring clamps uh, to hold the tarp up to ensure that it wasn't going to get pulled into the piece that was being painted. 